all over the world, families are hurting. We're all experiencing some kind of struggle. We can get so isolated in our own homes, in our own countries, but to be gathered with people from all over the world and to talk about the struggles, the pains, and the joys, it just gives so much comfort knowing that we're not alone and that the church cares about our marriages and our families. We're Damon and Melanie Owens. We've been married for about 30 years, and we've been blessed with eight children, seven girls, and one boy. We're privileged to serve in two ministries, both of them deeply rooted in St. John Paul II's theology of the body. First is joy to be, and that really is the broad ministry of teaching theology of the body in schools, seminaries, conferences. And then Melanie and I serve together in Joyful Ever After that focuses on community, friendship, and then on catechesis. It's nice to be able to do this ministry together because we have a calling that God wants us to share our struggles and our pains and our joys to help couples get the marriage that they want. People have forgotten this deeper call that the ordinariness, many times the mundane reality of family life. We have this idea that this exalted, everyone's walking around with halos, treating each other with all the virtues when in fact it's a school of love where we're learning these things, which means it's a mess, which means, as Pope Francis said, there are plates that are flying. It wasn't until uh, I went full-time into ministry in probably 2002 that working with the Knights of Columbus in particular projects of marriage and family started to increase. My personal involvement was really from that, traveling around the country and around the world and being engaged with so many Knights and so many parishes that have all been consistently places of real manly service, being there when things need to be done, a consistent and strong voice on issues that are central to my life and my ministry. This was an organization that went from just sort of a general respect to someone, a part that I wanted to be part of. The world meeting of families really is a gift that John Paul II gave many years ago for the church to really engage. The 2022 world meeting of families was different. It was held in Rome, invitation only because of COVID, but it was a gathering of 2,400 delegates from about 190 countries around the world focused on family love as a vocation and a path to holiness. So we received a letter invitation from the USCCB, I think about four months before the actual event. And, you know, we spent about a week just sort of looking at each other, like, what does this mean? What's happening here? And, and why us? Why and why we, us? Like, we were deciding whether we could even, you know, afford to go or, or whether we should, you know, even attend. I'm glad that I'm a fourth degree Knight of Columbus. And right away, the local council made it possible for us to get to Rome for the World Meeting of Families. The support that we got was irreplaceable. One of the prayers that Melanie and I had was about the relationships between the kids. It was our relationships with them, ways that we could love each other better. From the very beginning, the USCCB was saying, bring your children, bring your children, they are welcome. We were very motivated being around other couples who put their families first. And we know that, you know, just one couple can change their community, can change their church, can change their world. Our children are, you know, regular, normal children, and I pray that the Lord has planted seeds in their hearts and that they will be able to process and appreciate the trip more deeply and more fully as they grow older. I think the key takeaway for us and our family was that we're not alone. There's something different about the encounter people from different languages, different countries, different cultures, but we're tied together around this beautiful vision of marriage and family. And I think we came back even more inspired for our ministry to help marriages. We have a clear vision of what God wants us to do and how He wants us to help these couples, so we are very excited about that. I have been very impressed with the work of Knights of Columbus, and I'm just grateful that Damon is a part of that group. 
we both have so much gratitude to the Knights of Columbus for supporting us and giving us what we needed to get to Rome because we could not have done that on our own. So a very special thank you to the St. Patrick Council mm -hmm. and for Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly for the great support 